Good morning guys and welcome to this morning's update from Uva Therapy. My name is Roman and I do this morning updates every now and then, mostly on Monday to Friday. Because uh, while I'm on my way to work, well, I'm bored, so I'd rather just talk Uva then. Uh, yeah, so smash a like on this video of course and subscribe. To this very channel we gotta go to 1.5k before the 1st of April, this will be epic. So please, let's make it happen, guys. Um, all right, so in today's news, or rather yesterday's news, Meriç Demiral, of course, the legend, the Turk, um, got injured and is now out for at least 20 days. I think it's a thigh injury. <clears throat> and uh, you know what? To be quite honest, guys, uh, I don't see this as a real issue because we see Bonucci just coming back from injury. I think Chiellini was on the bench, uh, was not used against Porto. Uh, Danilo will be back from suspension, of course. He was suspended against Porto in the return leg. So we got enough bodies. And of course, Matthijs De Ligt coming also back from his slight injury. So I think we have enough bodies for those 20 days. Um, and yes, of course, when we think about injuries, they will still pile up. And uh, we've been freaking unlucky this season. We have to be honest and say it just like it is. But uh, still, there are uh, some people who just don't think this as an uh, as an argument towards how bad this season has become. Uh, it doesn't mean anything that the injuries are there. But still remember that Paulo Dybala, our MVP last season, uh, has been out throughout the whole season, more or less. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, we gotta take that also into consideration. And then, of course, there are talks about Cristiano leaving. Uh, talks, well, I say rather rumors because he hasn't said anything on social media, and uh, there's been very little action surrounding Cristiano lately. So, uh, this is why people start thinking that ah, he's quiet because he's not happy. He's not happy because of his squad. Or maybe he's just not happy with himself. I don't know. Um, but. Also, uh, people want to see him uh, leave at the end of this season. Some people want him to stay. Personally, myself, I'm not sure uh, what to do here. But uh, I'll, I'll just lay it down for you guys. Because if, if he leaves, we need somebody else in the team who can score the goals. And who is that going to be on the tight budget that we have? Uh, and... Uh, could also complement the squad perfectly. This would be a very, very hard task. Of course, Cristiano leaving, I uh, mean, he would get some money for uh, for the transfers. But what do you go for? Would you still leave this midfield as broken as it is? Uh, do you go for a replacement to Cristiano in order to score in goals? And uh, yeah, are you gonna go and splash some cash on one player? Uh, and I hope for the best then you just basically don't solve the problem. You, you're just postponing the problem. Maybe even making it worse, because Cristiano will eventually leave next season. Uh, and then you can really rebuild. So, uh, yeah, this is the negatives of, uh, well, letting him go, uh, selling him, basically. And also the fact that he hasn't played bad for Juve, far from it. He has been very, very good for Juve. But the project, Ronaldo project, has possibly failed, yes. But whether we should uh, cut the cord now or next season, that remains to be seen, my friends. Um, if I want him to stay, well, as I said, guys, uh, there are very limited options for him. PSG might be the one. Um, so if PSG are uh, offering um, Icardi, probably, and someone else in return, I'll take it. Probably, I'll take it. Because I, uh, I personally like uh, Icardi. I think he will do good for us provided that Paolo Dybala is back in action. But anyway, tonight on UV Therapy Session, I will be joined by my friend Daniel. We will not talk about injuries this time, not so much. We're just going to talk about UV, uh, the situation. And uh, I know that he wants Cristiano to stay. And I want to hear what he thinks about the whole thing going forward. So, uh, yes, see you tonight, my friends. Please join the UV Therapy Session at 8 p.m., Central European time, of course. And uh, fino alla fine, you know, it doesn't matter if we are demoted to Serie B or just exiting for the knockout stages in the Champions League uh, for the second time in a row, way too early. Uh, maybe even third time in a row, but uh, we did get past Atletico. So, 
yeah, it's it's getting worse, guys. It's getting worse. Fina la fina, as I said. Forza Juve, enjoy your day. And if you, I won't see you until the watch along against Cagliari, which will be on Sunday. Have a good weekend. Ciao.